Hello guys, I went out yesterday. I went out with my tap teacher for three drinks in the afternoon, early evening, and then I carried on. <laughs> so I've just woken up. I don't tend to drink when I'm in London. Anyway, so here's the video from here. No presentation, just gonna do it here. Um, so Zach, who you may have seen in some of the group classes, asks the question, Luke, when you translated in Tanner's class, he's doing some homework, so I must be drunk because to hear students doing homework is incredible. And he said, Luke, when you were translating in Tanner's class, um, my father was sociable, which is rare for him. Oh, and he said that Tanner said, mon père est sociable, ce qui est rare pour lui, or which was rare for him, ce qui était rare pour lui. And he says, why is it ce qui rather than qui? Let me say this again. Qui refers to the previous noun. Ce qui refers to the previous idea. Qui refers to the previous noun. Ce qui refers to the previous idea. So if you think uh, that when you add a CE to certain words, it kind of grabs the whole concept. So for example, I like what? Find me. <laughs> I like what Luke is wearing. That thing that Luke is wearing. Obviously not right now. I like what is happening. I like that thing that is happening. It grabs the whole idea. J'aime ce qui se passe. Um, uh, you know, what he needs. Ce dont il a besoin. No, uh, you use so the CE crops up in a sort of grabbing, yeah, grammar that is referring to something that you're grabbing and then doing something with with the verb. So key refers to the previous idea. So key refers to the previous no key refers to the previous noun. So key refers to the previous idea, which is longer, key, one word Q U I or ce qui. Two words, C-E-Q-U-I. Ce qui is longer, so that will refer to the previous idea because an idea is longer than a single noun. So, for example, if you said, I've bought a new table. J'ai acheté une nouvelle table. J'ai acheté une nouvelle table. And if you want to say, which is fantastic, and you mean the table is fantastic, then you are referring to the previous noun of table. So, j'ai acheté une, une, une table, the table, which is fantastic. Qui est fantastique? If you've said, I bought a new table, which is fantastic, meaning the idea, the fact that I bought a table is fantastic, because now I no longer have to eat off the floor. So, j'ai acheté une nouvelle table, ce qui est fantastique. That's why you can't use this, that's why you have to have the so, Zach, because otherwise you'd be referring to the previous noun. So, um, uh, so if you said, um, um, we met a we met a guy who was very sociable. On a rencontré un mec qui était très sociable. That would be referring to a guy because we've just said the guy. Notice gender-wise as well, that if you are going to use qui, you need to, to make your gender work to that noun. So, for example, if I said I bought a um, table which was perfect, and you mean that the table was perfect. So, j'ai acheté uh, une table qui était parfaite. The, the parfait adjective would have to match the femininity of noun. J'ai acheté une table qui était parfaite. I bought a table, which was perfect, because we were looking for a table. J'ai acheté une table, ce qui était parfait. The ce qui était is then going to give a neutral masculine adjective, all right? So, qui refers to the previous noun. Ce qui refers to the previous idea. All right, guys, take care.